Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's bright and early, daily discipline, mind, body, and soul. This is how we get through Monday. Hope you have a good week planned. I got a loose tooth in the back. I'm afraid it's going to have to come out. We'll see what the dentist says. It's happened to me before on the other side. We had to pull the one on the other side out, so this is kind of a drag for me. I have a hard time eating right now. The tooth is real loose to the wiggle. I don't know how it happened. So whenever they open, it's early now, but when they open later today, later this morning rather, I'm going to try to schedule that. That's annoying. Let's talk about the war on Christianity. There absolutely is a war on Christianity, and if you didn't think so, well, it was revealed to you yesterday. So let's talk about yesterday. There's two things that happened yesterday in this war on Christianity. I could go on a long 20-minute tirade to simply listing all the different attacks in this war against Christianity that have been waged over the last 10 years by various presidential administrations. It's not just Joe Biden. But yesterday was Easter. A big holiday to many Christians, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, we can acknowledge, to start off with, that not all Christians celebrate Easter. Apostolic Christians, truth of God Christians, go listen to Geno Jennings, those types of Christians, they're very orthodox. They do not celebrate Easter. They don't. They don't recognize April or the end of March as the resurrection. There's no date in the Bible of when Jesus was resurrected. It doesn't say April 1st or whatever. It doesn't say that in there. So, so they don't celebrate it. And there is a, a little bit of a dispute within Christianity of whether you should be celebrating Easter or not. However, Catholics, Protestants, Methodists, most denominations of Christianity do celebrate Easter. They had major celebra Easter celebrations here in this town. I'm in the Bible Belt. So they celebrate Easter here. Everything shuts down. There's nothing open yesterday. 7-Eleven was the only thing open. They had a, 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 a ceremony on the beach. I didn't go to it. I don't go to church. I don't do anything like that. But they had a big ceremony on the beach. I think it was the Salty Church. That's a big church. A lot of young people go to that church. Hundreds, if not thousands. I saw the pictures on Facebook. They had the whole beach packed full of people. So this is a religious area. And people celebrate Easter around here and they worship Jesus around here. And it was weird that yesterday was deemed National Trans Day. Maybe in San Francisco it made sense. Maybe in New York City it made sense. Maybe down in Key West, where it's a little bit more progressive than here, that's not the Bible Belt. Maybe it made sense, but here in this small town in the south, central Florida, redneck town, it did not make sense. Nobody understood it. My brother's wife made a good point. She's not particularly political and she's not particularly conservative, but she did mention that they're only doing this to divide us and to make us angry at each other. So yesterday was an executive order by Joe Biden in order to make Easter National Transgender Day. And if you wonder, why would they pick Easter? They could have picked any other day. They could have done it a couple days beforehand, one day beforehand, one day after. No, they did it on Easter. Why do it on Easter? It's to steal the holiday and it's to continue this war against Christianity but it's also to divide us this is a Christian nation and we're overrun by neoliberal leftists who I call communists because their politics mirror Karl Marx and communism communist ideology one of the tenets of, communist, of communism and Marxism is no religion. The state is your boss. Jesus isn't your boss. The state is your boss. The president is your boss. This is how communism works. They don't like religion in communist countries. 
because it takes the authority away from the state, from the government. But this was done yesterday specifically just to further divide us. We're going into an election season and the Democrats need to stoke the flames of hatred. They need society to be against each other. We need to be fighting to the brink of race war. This has been an incredibly successful recipe over the last couple election cycles to bring us right to the point of where we're going to have a civil war, a race war, a class war. And for some reason, specifically the Democrats feel like that this, that type of environment is conducive to them winning. That when we have that type of division to where our entire country looks like it's about to explode in flames. That's an easier way to win the popular vote. Now that might be a conspiracy and but after she mentioned that, she laid that out, I was thinking about it and it seems to make sense to me. Why else would they have picked Easter Sunday for it to be National Transgender Day? But it went further, there was another thing that happened. It wasn't just, that wasn't the only thing that happened yesterday. They also, they, the government, Joe Biden, changed the rules for the National Easter egg hunt. Every year, for my whole life, there's been an Easter egg hunt that they bring in school children, and it's a very sweet event. The kids love it. The kids aren't political. The parents aren't political. The, the kids love it. The National Easter egg roll, the thing they do on the White House lawn. I'm from D.C. I grew up in D.C. Kids love it. They love it. The parents love it. And it is a Christian thing. Easter is a Christian holiday. And typically, people would paint the eggs, whatever they want, different colors. But you would absolutely see Christian imagery on the eggs. You might see the word Jesus with a heart over it. You might see a cross, uh, you know, that type of thing. No big deal. Paint the eggs however you want. Well, Joe Biden made a rule yesterday saying that the Easter egg hunt that we have every year for generations, they will no longer be allowed to have any Christian imagery, words or imagery of any kind, painted on the Easter eggs. They wanted to take all of Christianity and any references to the Christian religion out of the Easter egg roll using this, the Easter egg hunt, uh, using the, the excuse that we have to have a clear separation between church and state and this is a good thing to do. Now, really who cares, right? Who cares? We can roll our eyes at all this stuff. Who cares? It's just another Sunday. None of it matters. Easter doesn't really matter. The Easter egg hunt doesn't really matter. But to Christians it matters. My brother was offended, deeply offended by this. A lot of people yesterday that were around the table that I was at were deeply, deeply offended. Maybe the plan will work. Maybe it's a good plan and maybe it'll work. It's a manipulative plan. It's a sinister plan. It's an evil plan. Maybe it works. Maybe they will divide us. Maybe we will go to a religious war. Maybe we will have a race war. Maybe we will be pushed to the brink of civil war, of conservatives versus liberals, of atheists versus Christians, of gays versus straights, of whatever, blacks versus whites. Maybe that will be on the agenda for this year. The Democrats are marching us blindly forward towards that on all levels. This whole idea of DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, this whole social justice fight, 
is meant to bring us to civil war. It's meant to turn us into a communist dictatorship. It's meant to put National Guard troops on your street instead of police. It's meant to turn this country into a police state with Gestapo, where your neighbors are listening to your conversations at dinner through the walls and if they hear you say anything anti-government they will snitch on you and then maybe at three in the morning a special team of government agents comes and yanks you out of your house and by the next morning when everybody wakes up you're gone nobody knows what happened to you you're in the re-education camps sounds like a sci-fi movie it's happening if you're Christian need to fight. Fight for Jesus. You can't stand back and watch this happen. If they take Christianity from America, America will fall. If we, as Christians, allow this to happen, America will be destroyed. It'll be a third world hellhole. We'll turn into Haiti. It seems like that's what people want. Yesterday was a major red flag. And if anybody didn't see it, you need to wake up, pay attention. Food for thought.